Hello, everybody, and welcome to Dark Angels and Pretty Freaks, episode 306. I am Neil. I am Annalise. Hi, Annalise. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing very well. Thank you. I actually lied. I'm very tired and I kind of hit the wall. I'm I'm a little tired. <laughs> What's going on? I'm a little tired too, but since I auto blew myself, I'm feeling a little bit better. Oh, good. That's yeah. how nice for you. Yeah. yeah it was good. Uh, we'll get into that for those that don't know what an auto blow is in a moment. But uh, off the this, top, this uh, shout out to Matt. <laughs> shout out to I was shouting out Matt's name while I was auto blowing myself. That's awkward. Uh, Want to say thank you to everybody who's watching us live on YouTube, and thank you to everybody who watch is on YouTube later, and thank you for everyone who watches our other videos. That means means a lot. We're a married couple uh, living in California. We just like to get together once a week and chat about blowing ourselves. Mm. It's what we do. Well, mm. yeah, some of us do. Some of it. What well, you can try it, but you don't have a little dinger. Yeah, you don't have an almond dinger. Don't have an almond dinger. Sorry. Um, so let's see. That's it. Oh, next week will be our six-year podcast anniversary. Mm-hmm. We're gonna have a big blowout next Sunday at three p.m. <laughs> Which is going to be like every other live show we do. Right. We're just going to chill. But we'd like you to come in and uh, say wonderful things about us on our six-year podcast anniversary. That would be cool. Um, Also, to go along with that, um, Mm -hmm. in the past, we have done a favorite five um, actor. Actor, yeah. Movie, like movies from an actor. Mm Mm-hmm. And did you want to do that again this year? And if so, what actor? Uh, well, that's going to take us some time to think about. So, mm-hmm. um, yeah, I think that's a good idea. And, I and think that way we could also uh, tweet that out like before maybe, and that way other people could have their favorites. I like from the way you're thinking. Actor. We'll do, we'll as well. Sounds good. We will do that. Okay. So that sounds. Actor. Sounds like a plan. Um, I'll put a little note. Tation. I don't think we have anything else. Oh, I guess we have a few. Oh, well, we'll just talk about it. We have a few kind of housekeeping things, but it'll be part of the conversation. Okay. So. Um, wh- I have a few things. Housekeeping. I have a few things. I don't have a ton, so you go ahead. And a couple of them are yours, I think, just for, as a reminder to, for you to talk about. So you go ahead. Well, right. I, okay. I'm going to start with this since the coronavirus is mm. I- all the rage right now. All the rage. In, in the news and like, hey. Is that our dog? Yes. Okay. That's zero. <laughs> uh, and since it's corona-ing all mm-hmm. over the place. Uh, it's interesting because it has affected my, my mom does not have coronavirus. Right. Um, however, she was scheduled to leave for Argentina Monday, this coming Monday, which would have been the ninth. And she actually canceled her trip because of the coronavirus. Right. Now my mom is, is hi Margo. My mom is older and does have some medical conditions. Mm -hmm. Um, she already has issues with her lungs and stuff. So she would be susceptible to death if she got it. Right. The other concern that she had was she's going to see her aunt, who's 92 or mm-hmm. 94, and if for some reason she even brings just a flu to her aunt, it could be death for everybody. Right. And my mom doesn't want to get stuck quarantined quarantine in an somewhere. airplane on a runway somewhere. Yeah. So unfortunately, she had to, uh, or felt it would be best to postpone the trip, so she's going to go later this year. Yeah. But it was it was interesting. I had dinner with them on Friday night. hmm and it was interesting having the conversation and it's, you know, talking to someone who's like, oh, if I get this, there's a good possibility I might die. And I'm like, well, that sucks. Probably don't want to get it then. Right. Probably want to avoid that. Yeah. And I'm sure, as everyone assumes, it was a very hard decision for your mom because your mom um, not only tries to go back to Argentina once a year, but tries to go at this specific time because it's like three family members' birthdays within like a three-week period. And so she goes for that time. And so it's very much like... Um, the best time to go because she gets the, all the celebrations in there and it's also summer there and so it's nice and warm. Well, it's it's actually um, fall. Something like that. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, warmer. it's almost exactly, yeah. It's right. the end of summer, beginning of fall. <laughs> Hi, monkey. But it's typically warm Hi, there this time pickle. of year. Yeah, oh, very much take. so. And yeah. then they usually like uh, do right. like no, it's a couple. Still summer. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I remember her saying something about it being summer. So yeah. Um, but anyway, so um, it's it's a bummer that she can't go at this time, but also very awesome that she can move it to another time. And I heard somewhere I don't know if this is true, but heard someone say that they're not. Um, a lot of airlines are waiving like penalty fees and things like that for you to be able to move your flights and travel and things like that. So what they did true? was they. Gave Gave, uh, they don't give you your money back. You will have to pay a fee if you want your actual money back. But they will give you a voucher for 100% of the amount, and you have until December to use it. Mm-hmm. And they said they'll revisit that if for some reason travel is still restricted and there's still issues, which hopefully there, there right. won't be because that means a lot of the population is gone. Right. Um, they'll, and people can't travel, then they'll probably extend it for some people. Right. 
but yeah, there no the the airlines are um, being very understanding, and my I've also heard that a lot of the airlines don't want people to fly, right? Because they don't want to spread this all over the place. So they're well, like, yeah. we'll make up the money they want later. It, everyone they want to take care of this and get it out of the way as soon as possible, as well as they don't want a situation where they have to quarantine one of their planes. That would be insanely awful and expensive for mm-hmm. them. So I'm sure you know like. Even though they're going to lose money in the short term, like having an incident like that, even if it's one plane having to be quarantined for like a week or something, that would be like so messy and so expensive right? and awful. So like, you know, let's just avoid that. <laughs> I, I thought of like, what if we were going to be going to Jamaica right mm-hmm. now? You know, would we cancel the trip? And my, my big concern would be the quarantine because the right. dogs would be, you know, we couldn't, if we couldn't get back or if we were stuck on a runway for two weeks right. or in a hang airplane hangar or right. just stuck in Jamaica, which mm-hmm. would be awesome. But that's another however long and the dogs and it would be so, so like, expensive. I don't know if it would be worth I would doing. go insane if I was like stuck on an airplane for a week. Or well something. I think I they'd probably insane. take you to an empty an hangar, hangar or something yeah. like that, right? I assume. I would think. But. I'd like to think people have thought these things through. Um I was I told you off pod before, but I have a uh, coworker who I think is supposed to leave this coming week for like a three week vacation tour of Europe. Mm-hmm. And the last not time, a three hour tour. Not a three hour tour. Uh, well, <laughs> three hour tour. Um so and the last time we spoke he hasn't canceled his trip and I think that includes Italy. So I'm pretty Pretty sure now, considering what's going on there, In he's Northern going to Italy. have to yeah. cancel. I mean, I mean, but he doesn't want to. I mean, sure. he, well, he of really, course. really no, doesn't want especially to. Especially when you've went through all the planning and you're excited to go, and then all of a sudden it's like, no. Yeah, plans you're done. and payments have been made, but payments have been made. <laughs> so it was interesting to you know actually have to have this conversation and and realize like, and my mom's super sad because all right, because she wants to go. She wants to go and see her family. Yeah, and now. She's going to be stuck with my dad, which is <laughs> not good. We were actually going to talk about that a little bit in our conversation that we had last week with your mom. Did you want to do that? It's backtracking a little bit, but... Oh, about my... Well, no, let's wait on that. Okay. Yeah. But I just want... I just uh, I just remember last week we, were, we said that we were going to talk about it this week, so yeah. just we could roll it again. We'll but just, I just... Yeah. You know, it's, we'll, it's an interesting conversation is mm-hmm. the thing, so that's all. Um, I actually took Friday off from work. Um, so I was going to try Which to like... cracked my mom up. Really? Yeah. Why? Because you took Friday off and I was going to my mom's for dinner. So it wasn't like you took Friday off and I'd get off work early and we'd go do something. So right. she was laughing. She's like, oh, so she took the day off where you're not going to be home till late tonight. And I well, said, that yeah. wasn't really... The, no, I know. Yeah. But that's I mean, what she was... Like, yeah. So I mean... It, it is. It was funny. Right. Yeah. Like, well, I was going to take the previous Friday off, but um, your mom came that day. Yes. So um, that didn't make sense totally. But... But anyway, I wanted like a a free day, you Mm -hmm. know, like to be able to get some rest and stuff like that. But that did not happen. I woke up at three and did not come back to sleep. And I tried to nap later and that didn't happen. So ended up not really using it to its best of its ability. But it's still nice to not drive and go in and all of that. So Mm -hmm. anyway, that seems to be kind of how sometimes it is when you have one of those extra days off and you're like. I was planning to just relax, and now, yeah. I, like you said, I can't sleep. And the, the kind of a bummer, because it had been really, really warm here. Right. And then last Thursday and Friday, it started really cooling off. Right. And we had some rain yesterday, and it's freaking freezing today. Yeah, it is cold. I'm. We are in hoodies. I have sweatpants on. Yeah. Yeah. So. I don't know. Anyway, so I, that's a, a little bit of a bummer. I didn't get to use my day off to the best of its ability, but it's also nice to have a day off. So mm-hmm. I'm trying not to let that go. But I think that's part of why I'm so tired today. Like I just haven't had a, the last uh, few nights for me haven't been great sleep. And so like now I'm like super tired. I might sound awake to you guys, but <laughs> right before this, it was like, let's go live or I'm going to bed. Right. <laughs> we're we're going to do this now or this is it. Right. Otherwise, I'm just going to turn this bus around and go back to bed. You actually tried to lay down a little bit today and, and it didn't nine work. Nine kept licking my yeah, face. Nine. God damn it. Well, now she, zero. she loves you. Uh, Freaking. <laughs> anyway. Um, so I was going to talk. Oh, oh I want ahead. you to say a little yeah. bit more about um, going to your parents because we didn't actually talk about it that much. Oh, a sure. little bit. Like, so you guys ordered Chinese food? Yes. For dinner? Yeah. Delivered so or I, someone so had to go pick it up? So the whole point for me to go there was because my mom wanted to weigh her luggage. Right. Did she? For the trip. And she, she hadn't decided yet at that point that she wasn't going to go, but it correct. was correct. She had, she wants to go. She did not even think about not going until earlier in that day or the Thursday before. My sister said, oh. "I don't think you should go. Have you thought oh. about this?" And my mom didn't. Oh, 
or well, that's that's, that's yeah. not fair to say because it sounded like she, it sounded like she had thought about it, but she felt comfortable going. Right. Well, because she wants to go, so she's like, "Oh, right. it'll be fine." Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, um, so I was going there to weigh the luggage since my back dad's back surgery. It's not good for him to lift, and my mom, you know, for him to lift heavy weights, he's not supposed to lift anything over twenty five pounds. Right. So I was going, and my mom maxes out her luggage to right. weigh the luggage. So. Um, I, and I decided to go there Friday. We, you know, we could have went during the weekend, but since the Friday commute for both of us is terrible and I had decided to do that before you, I mean, like we knew I was, you know, going to go. So it wasn't like, you're like, I'm taking the day off and I'm like, well, I ain't coming home then. Right. (laughs) Um, I figured, well, I can go hang out with them, have dinner and don't have to deal with Friday commute. So got there, said hi to my mom, (laughs) got the luggage scale and the battery was dead. And I said, oh. did you check this before I came over? And she said, oh, no. And I think she left it on from last time because I don't think she knows how to shut it off. Right. Is that so our luggage scale or her luggage It's the scale? one we bought her. Okay. Ours is broken, remember? Oh, that's right. And yeah, we got a new one. Right, right. Um, so then my dad said, well, I'll go get a battery. And, of course, it wasn't. It, it's those little flat batteries, the CRO, CR2032s. Mm-hmm. Um, and most people, we have them because we have a lot of stuff that right. uses that. The dog lights, for one. <laughs> um, but they didn't. So my dad also needed vodka. So he said, I'll go to the store oh and gosh. get the battery. While he was gone, my mom asked. I wasn't going to bring up the trip because right. I'm like, my mom's a, an adult. She makes right. her own decisions. She's a grown-ass woman. But she <laughs> asked me what I thought. Happy International Women's Day, by the way. Today's Happy National Women's Day. And my Day. mom's Thank an you. international woman. She sure is. And so asked me what I thought. And I said, well... I would rather you not go just because the consequences, if you, if something happens, right. it's, I mean, something can happen anyway. Right. I just don't, it's not like you can't ever go and right. just wait just, a little if while. If you just move it a couple months yeah. or something, then, you yeah. know, right. So anyway, so yeah, I ordered Chinese food. My dad picked it up when he picked up his vodka and the battery. We Was got he the gone battery. for like two hours? <laughs> no, not, not too bad. <laughs> okay. Um, That's yeah. just a dad thing to do. Yeah. So I'm like, you know, they have to call him and like, where are you at right now? Mm-hmm. What? <laughs> It doesn't take that long. <laughs> but we, so pretty much weighed the luggage, mm-hmm. but then she decided Saturday she wasn't going, so. Right. But she was ready to go. Like she's. All set. And she was all stressed out about it. Like she's like, I have so much to do and get so ready. Yeah, she was leaving so, the following Monday. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. Two days later, yeah. Uh, so it was good. It was fun. We had Chinese food and mainly talked about the trip. Mm-hmm. That was pretty much it. And a few other little things. My dad had some questions and then, um he lost his mind because I told him that for a while when I, when I was out, my job was a little different. I had to do something else for a while. Um, and I was out, I was buying homeless people a meal. Right. Which we talked about, we talked about on the podcast. Yeah. And I was also saying, I was telling him how, Oh, it's not like you, you think it in your head. Like you give someone a meal and they're like, Oh my God, that's so cool. Thanks. I mean, I've been yelled at people don't know what I'm doing. I mean, half of them are half of the homeless people are, so spun out of their heads. They right. just don't know. But I'm like, you're obviously freaking hungry. Right. And then my dad said that I'm part of the problem and I shouldn't be giving homeless people Right, because meals. they know they have places to go. They just choose not to. Because it's their choice to be they, there they because they're to be getting homeless. free. Home. Yeah. yeah, and I was yeah. like, I don't think that's how it works. Yeah. I'm like, half these people I give food to Your dad is turned don't into even a, know where a they grumpy are. old man. He's a grumpy old conservative. Yeah. G- which is gr- kind typical of funny old white guy. I, he's just a typical old white guy. Which is interesting because he's not really... White. He's I mean, pretty much is about as white Italian as they get. considered white? Mm-hmm. Is it? European, yeah. I guess. I don't know. I just, I guess I just feel like the jobs he's had and where he's lived and he grew up in San Francisco, which is super progressive. Like, I'm so surprised. It wasn't always super progressive, though. Well, yeah. But I, I guess I'm just, I'm, I am just surprised that um, he he's is. such a grumpy old conservative? Yes. Yeah. Like, well, just yeah. because, like. He is surrounded by people who are not. Right. And, and he and, worked in the city that is progressive. And, and I just, I, like, I just, it surprises me every single time. And I'm like, and and again, like, and maybe this is just wishful thinking on my part. I'm like, he's kidding, right? No. <laughs> like, he's joking, right? And he's it's, not serious. <laughs> it's interesting, too. And you and I talked about this a little bit. But it right. wasn't like, oh, that's really nice you do that. But my feeling about it is this. Right. It was, no, you're doing it wrong. I'm right. Like, Zero right. to you're wrong. Yeah. I'm like, okay. Well, <laughs> there's, I, I appreciate, there's no middle ground, right? Yeah. I appreciate your take on it. But right. I still see a hungry person. And I feel bad. And I want to help right. feed them. If just... <laughs> For, you know, but just a sausage biscuit and egg McMuffin or whatever right. the hell they are. So 
Uh, so no, it was. But aside from that, it was a fun visit. And right. Got to hang out with them. And, well, that's good. Yeah. Um. Any other? Did they give you any other family updates you want to share Mm-mm. with us? No. Mm-mm. I am. Um, <laughs> while you were talking about that, I just thought of like if we ever end up having not having or choosing, whatever. Either way, both. Um. To live with your dad or something like that just you know something were to happen Mm -hmm. i was thinking we would kill each other (laughs) (laughs) it would be we would just be yelling at each other all the time it would be and your dad and i get along actually very well but i think that he really likes to debate and i do not want to debate him ever i I think it would be one of those things i'm just like no (laughs) you you just kind of let it roll out you know when he says something you're like okay cool i'm gonna go yeah i'm gonna finish dinner and Go do whatever. Right. It I'll, be, be, I'll worth, be in my room. Yeah. It wouldn't be worth <laughs> arguing right. over every little thing that he wants to argue about. Right. So anyway, All um, right. that's funny. Yeah. I uh, was going to say, since it was on my, on my head right now, mm-hmm. um, that we were having, having fun. So uh, somebody from T public, which is like a t-shirt merchandise. Oh yeah. Store, I went to write that down. Yeah. They reached, they reached out, uh, and sent an email, which I would imagine they do for, um, Whoever, Other, yeah. yeah, and just said, "Hey, do you want to use us for your merchandise?" And it, it the nice thing about it is that it's super simple mm-hmm. because there's no minimum or anything like that, and you can make as many t-shirts, whatever. And then they will also put those like on phone cases or tote bags, coffee cups, or any coffee yeah. cups. So it was kind of fun. So I've been I've been busy making t-shirts this. I week. know that's been rad. Um, you have had some great ones. I love them all. What's funny is so obviously we have like our podcast logo. I'm gonna mm-hmm. I'm gonna put the link up in the. Um, in the chat. In the chat, just right. so for people who watch the YouTube video later right. can see it. Um, so uh, obviously we have the podcast logo and our right. little heathen person. Mm-hmm. And we have like the Dark Angels of Pretty Freaks and the Halos yeah. and Heathens. But most, angel. most everything mm-hmm. is Jamaica stuff. Like I made a ton of Jamaica shirts. Right. Well, we also, but you made stuff of, uh, from our pets, Chubbs and Zero right. and right, Nine. Right, right. Yeah. And I know that we've sold a couple of Chubbs t-shirts. It's Sold adorable. a couple of Chubbs t-shirts. Yeah. I and want... we get a small percentage. We do right. we get, but it's, it's not, like, yeah, it's like it's not a about dollar making or money. two per shirt or yeah, something. So it's, it's not a lot. We're not getting rich. We're not. No. And know. it's not about us making money, but it is fun to be able, like we can make a shirt. Like mm-hmm. if something funny gets said mm-hmm. in this episode like we could just put up a shirt that says like auto blow yourself right you know and it's just there people want to buy it and they think that's funny they can if not no Um, problem and i think it's really cool that um you posted some of the jamaica stuff in the our jamaica group Mm -hmm. um online stuff and um a lot of people were like, oh, that's really cool. And a couple of people have bought some shirts, and that's mm-hmm. really cool. And um, you said it before, but um, any of the Jamaica-based shirts, um, any profit that we make is going to actually go to the... ISSA Trust Foundation the, right, in the, Jamaica to help. ISSA Trust? ISSA. I, ISSA? The ISSA Trust Children's Foundation, right? Yeah. So yeah. it'll help uh, children... Uh, and they do a lot like for hospitals, hospitals and for schools. Yeah. yeah. So. so, and it's kind of... And again, we're not looking to make... But it's kind of... No, make yeah. money, but it's fun to have, be able to have, like I said... I want you one know. of all of them. And and the cool thing is when you first make them, they're like they're only like thirteen bucks, yeah. which is kind of cool. Yeah. Um, can I have some? Yeah, we can we can get some. Okay, I yeah. would I would like I would like a few. And yeah, I know I'm like, like I'm said, gonna like <laughs> I'm gonna spend a hundred dollars. <laughs> I'm gonna spend more than we're gonna make on t-shirts that <laughs> oh, I want. And but it's uh, pim- pimping out promo. Whatever. Can and we so, write yeah, that we off on our taxes? No, I'm pimping out. We don't show. make that much yet. <laughs> Man, come on. <laughs> Ooh, uh, we do. Uh, we did make a Chubbs. There is a Chubbs mm-hmm. and a nine and a zero shirt. Yeah, which is which is kind of fun. Yeah. Um, and then we made a, a let's get into it. Let's get into it, which sold. Oh, nice. A couple of those, yeah. <laughs> a couple of those sold. Yeah, I was surprised that like that people were actually buying stuff because yeah. you know we have stuff for free too. I want all those uh, and the little our little freaky angel is a really cool T-shirt. Mm-hmm. I want so I want that. I want all the pets and I want the let's get into it. Well, and then maybe also Jamaica. Okay, it's your birthday. So you mentioned <laughs> Jamaica. So uh, on Facebook, there's like page, you know, like group pages for right. the um, what do you call it? Couples. <laughs> Eric Billings in the house. Oh wow! Wow. What there's a throwback, hey, hey, Eric. Hi. Um, <laughs> so we, um, so I posted on the little Facebook groups like of the couples resorts we go to, mm-hmm. and said, "Hey, da 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 da," and then I got silenced by the swept away group because they're like, "You can't promote your own stuff here," and I'm like, "The money's going so to I just, charity." I just quit the group. I'm like, "Go screw yourself." Right. Fine. You don't. You don't get swept away shirts. Yeah. Suck it. 
Yeah. Which is funny because the CTI people were all like, oh, that's rad. Everybody and then, was into it. Yeah. And, and in th- fact, this swept away people. There were people who responded who said, cool, I'd really like to see this. Right. And I'm like, all right. And then, no. Yeah. I'm like, mm, all right. Yeah. I mean, the whole reason I posted it was not for us to make money, but I thought because they're specific to right. the couples, some of them are. And since it goes to right. the, I thought people would want to know. Right. And most everyone's been really cool. Yeah. And it buys the Jamaica shirts for that reason. Right. But whatever. Anyway, it was fun. I mean, it's if you are um, if you have your own thing going, whether it's a podcast or a vlog or or just you're creative and want to put your art on T-shirts, I would right. say check out T Public right. because it's yeah, they've it's been great, pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. And if you need help, like they'll answer right away. Yeah. And they gave us a coupon code, I think, for thirty percent off. I think it was D A P F Pod thirty. Mm. But I don't know how long that coupon code. Well, is also good for. I noticed um, when you go to the T Public site, if like you get like fifty percent off your first purchase mm-hmm. or something like that. Anyway, so I mean, and it's already a discounted T-shirt. Like yeah. the T-shirts are only they well they're starting at thirteen dollars. I don't know how much they'll be when you go there, but like so it's like thirteen dollars plus like the fifty percent off. I'm like, oh, uh, that's cheap. Yeah, <laughs> so. and I like the fact that they do like the stickers and mm-hmm. the mugs too. Yeah, because I I enjoy mugs of podcasts a little right. more than T-shirts. Mm-hmm. So. I like stickers too. So, anyway, anyway, that's it's cool. been it's been really fun. Like I, you didn't tell me about it before. You just kind of sent me the 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 link or whatever, and I was like, "What the?" Mm-hmm. And of course, it melted my heart because it was Chubbs, Chubbs, Mr. Chubbs, Mr. Yeah. Chubbs. It's it's uh, the Obama hope poster, right? You know, with a but it's a picture of Chubbs <laughs> meowing, <laughs> and down below it just says "meow" yeah. instead of hope, <laughs> and it's on a t-shirt. He's adorable. Or a mug, for that matter. Or a pin. They, it's funny, all the stuff. I'm like, a tote bag? I'm like, Jesus. All right, put it on yeah. everything. Yeah, sure, why Put not? a bird on it. Put a bird on it. <laughs> That's too funny. So it's been fun. So if anybody wants to check it out, check it out. We're also going to start up our actual pod, uh, podcast, mm-hmm. our actual website again. Because mm-hmm. I know we got rid of the actual website and the, the domain just sent you to our YouTube mm-hmm. channel. But now we're going to actually go back to the website because there were a lot of people that interacted with us through that. Right. And I kind of missed that. So yeah. I'm going to pop pop that back in there. <laughs> um, um, speaking of us being super active and doing all that stuff, um, you mostly um, between um, yesterday and today have did like – how many videos? <laughs> oh, a lot. Yeah, yeah. I'm like four up. or five. Yeah, yeah, you're catching up and like doing, um, and there's a lot of, uh, you, got, you guys know this already, but there we do like reviews and things like that. But um, there's a lot of ones that we started that we had to do like an update on and things like that. And so Neil was super proactive and like got everything all set up and did like, between, like especially just... like yesterday, like four videos and then like uh, two more updates today on videos and stuff, and um, it's, whoa, way to go, boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Which brings us to the auto blow. So we've- I was also, I was going to actually talk about the gin, but you- Oh, go, go ahead. No, 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 well, we'll go you're back started. To the gin. Well, no, we'll come back to the gin. <laughs> so if people remember a while ago, well, Matt and I were talking about the mm-hmm. auto blow, and the auto blow is a masturbation device for mm-hmm. people with penises. <laughs> and it's, it's- this one is the Auto Blow AI, mm-hmm. and it lear- it's got ten different settings of how it'll stroke Remind you. Remind me if it's battery or electric. No, it's plug-in. plug-in. This is for real, man. Like you got to be close to a gotta be, plug or have a really long extension cord. Well, whatever this you got to do. A, like we were saying, you can't take it camping. It's not a grab and go. Yeah. Oh, you can if you have a generator. Right. Yeah, that's what we said on the on the video. It's not a grab and go. <laughs> And so it it has like ten different settings, and it does all this different mm-hmm. kind of stroking. And we were sent one to try it out. And we did the unboxing, but I never got around to actually trying it. Finally, right. I'm like, I got to finish this freaking video. Right. So today, before the podcast, I, as I said, I auto blew myself. Yep. The thing's freaking You're amazing. Welcome. It's really cool. <laughs> I was like, this is actually really cool. So we'll have, a, we will. Be, I had some questions, video will be which out. I asked for the video because, coming, you know. Yeah. Coming out, uh, I think tomorrow, but mm-hmm. it was it's an interesting little device, but Do, it was. Are you gonna text Matt? Are you gonna tell him to watch the video? I'll just send him the link to the just video. Send the, yeah, you should. Yeah, it was funny because I, I I was because talking. since you guys talked about it on reasons or several back in the day, that's how they got a hold of you. Mm-hmm. I and, was talking, okay. and, and Matt's like, "Nope," and just forwarded nope. it to you. Here you go. <laughs> so I was talking to not talking. I was texting with Ninja this morning, mm-hmm. and she's like, "Oh, what do you guys have going on?" And I said, "Well, I have to finally do the that part of the auto blow to the review part." 
And she said, she goes, are you going to, you going to make Annalise watch? I'm like, no, I'm not gonna <laughs> you're going to make it. Well, we were well, going to though. Make you do anything, but, but, um, well, because part of it was also for the video, but I mean, it's, but your junk is hidden inside it. You don't do the machine does all the stroking. So it just sits right. there. So, I mean, I guess that's what it is. Like, I think, Especially the first time, I, it would be, and for their view, it would be a little bit maybe too scientific y. And I would just oh, be like was, staring at you. So, yeah. like, I'm sure that's super comfortable for you. Well, for, for me, especially for, like when you're trying to figure it out, you for, know? For right? me, for a lot of it, it was very much like scientific, more yeah, scientific. Clinical. I'm like, yeah. so what does this one do? Right, push this What button. does this one do? Right. I'm like, oh, Jesus, you know, like, oh, <laughs> turned it up way too high. My God. Easy, <laughs> yeah, Tiger. Yeah. Um, <laughs> And, you know, and then what's funny is like doing all this, but, but then you, obviously you start to like really get excited and I'm like, well, forget the scientific part. Let's just, let's get into it. <laughs> let's do this. That's it was a, it's a good machine. Right. Well, I mean, again, and so Expensive. like we're not, you know, taking me watching, I guess, because I mean, like I can't really participate really. I mean, I guess you could, you could do the buttons. I suppose. I guess I could hold it. I don't know. I mean, but yeah. as you say, you, I can't really see anything no. so i mean it'd just be like looking at the you know and then it may and then it's electronic and it makes a noise yeah 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 it's i think, I, I would not i i don't know that i would necessarily view it as a very coupley romantic kind of no. device no but All not the, that it couldn't be no i'm just you you do you yeah <laughs> well i did you, it you did, did me you. <laughs> <laughs> and, and it's so funny because like it's got like the oh. the different you know, things so the the motor sounds so it's like right. junk, 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 junk. Right. Well, we junk, we junk, junk, and you, junk, if you junk, watch the junk, video, junk, you'll junk, junk, you'll junk, see junk. it yeah. or hear it because uh, Neil uh, does the different um, automations in the video, so you can hear whatever. So yeah, right. There, but, the video doesn't have me using it. <laughs> no, no, no. Very clear. Right, 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 right. Well, that would get a different rating altogether. It just has my after glow. Yeah. Yeah, you're uh, after showered. Mm -hmm. Yeah, then, then there's the whole thing of cleaning it. And I had a shower. I mean, it was a yeah. It's, it's a whole thing. It's not. A, it's like it's a date a night. Quick. Like it's not. It's not a grab and go. No, it's not a grab and go. No, you you really have to yeah. you know be into it. But it was it's good if you're into that thing. It's I would say it's worth the money. <laughs> Three hundred bucks. Uh, I think they're on sale right now for two nineteen. Mm. We don't have a coupon code. Right. Well. Sorry, sorry about that. We'll see how the video goes. Maybe we can. <laughs> but the the one thing, and you wanted to talk about the one thing that we did talk about last week, and I'll put, I guess I'll put a link to, for this, obviously in the show notes. Mm -hmm. And I do, I think we've sold a couple. Well, we don't sell them, right. um, but a couple of people purchase is the do your own gin thing. Do your gin. Do your gin. Do your gin. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, we started that uh, yesterday, and again, we are making a video on it, so you guys can watch that if you're really curious. But mm -hmm. um, so we we uh, got some vodka and we got the um, botanicals and all of that, and so we started that yesterday. And it actually takes way less time than I thought it would. I kind of assumed that to inf infuse alcohol, you have to let it sit for quite some time. But that's actually not the case. Um, so we already, the juniper was in there for 24 hours, and then we added more the botanicals of our choice mm -hmm. today. And so that's now Another steeping, 24 if hours. you will. We might leave it a little longer. Right. And then you you filter all the impurities out, mm -hmm. and then they say to refrigerate it because it tastes a little better, and then we'll, we'll taste it. Yeah, refrigerate for another for another 24 hours. So the, So in theory, per recommendations, the soonest you could drink it would be three days. Uh, if you used a recommendation, they said you could do it within 24 hours. Yeah. Yeah. You, you could put exactly. everything in. You could. And then but just. For best results, right. at least three days. Sure. But that is still way faster than I had thought before reading the instructions, obviously. I was like, yeah, okay, I thought it was gonna so be like we're going to. Two gonna, weeks. And I, this and that. I honestly, I thought we were going to have to like shelve it for like a month or something. I was like, okay, so we're going to do this and then come back to it like a month from now. Like, what are we doing? I do know but, the botanicals they use are, are really. Um, a really good quality, so right. I think that makes a difference too. Right, and you, um, and accord, and we'll figure it out, obviously. But some of the recipes in there, you use so little. So mm -hmm. in theory, like I have enough left over that I can make several bottles of the same mix or something right. like that. And the big thing would be but, get more juniper berry. Right. It would also be interesting to try, like as we talked about, like you don't like yours very juniper berry berry tasting. Ish, right. So it'd be neat to try, like with just a few juniper berries, so it has a little bit of that gin taste, but do more of the infusion. So, right. Um, but it was a lot of fun to do. Mm -hmm. And the kit is great. I mean, I think it would be a fun gift for people. Who it would, would be an amazing be gift. Yeah. I would be really cool. Like if we got that, like as a gift, I'd be like, Oh my God, that's yeah. super rad. And I think there, so. 
I think they're fifty bucks or forty right, thirty nine bucks. It comes bucks. with the bottles. Comes with the no no alcohol, but it comes with the bottles and the botanicals and a mm-hmm. little the strainer and, and a cool funnel. little stainless steel funnel. Yeah, and it's enough to make three twelve ounce bottles. Right, and everything in there is reusable. Everything is glass. Yeah, and everything. It's, it's so it's all cool. like washable and reusable. So it's it's, it cool. is really cool. It is really cool. So and we do know a and couple it's of cool people too, that the um, gin isn't clear because the. Because right. it's not, what is it? It's not distilled after this. Right, yeah. right. So it is, yeah. So anyway, well, if you guys care, you can watch the video. We already talked about most of it already. But um, Or get it and yeah. tell us what you yeah, think. Yeah, please. I, if anybody um, that we know... Use um, the code HALOS5, you get 5% off. Yeah, um, um, has done it or is going to do it, please share and please let us know because we're super interested we in do, like, what your mix is and all of that. So We do get a little kickback on if you use our oh, yeah, code, I'm, yeah, just so you know. Yeah. Not again. Just full. We're doing it because we thought it would be fun right. to do and it. It's just cool yeah. that the company I mean, reached not, out to us. We're not getting richer people, no. so. <laughs> well, we might be. I mean, it's all relative. Depends right. on you know. <laughs> if everyone who listened, you're to just going to buy a homeless person some McDonald's anyway. If everyone so. who listened to this podcast bought <laughs> one, it would be a lot of money. <laughs> I suppose so. <laughs> Although I don't think everybody who listens to this podcast a drinks, right. b drinks or drinks alcohol. Right. I hope everyone who listens to that drink podcast some drinks something. Drinks alcohol and and C drink likes gin and, and D wants, wants to infuse <laughs> wants to spend that much money on infused vodka right and E mm. no, I'm joking no there is no E but yeah so anyway you would um but those like I said like the you need to buy more juniper berry but you have enough botanicals to make several bottles mm-hmm. so anyway yeah. very very cool and that was a lot of fun and we're not done yet. We ain't done yet. Um, I, we're taking a whole bunch of pictures so you guys can kind of see the progression. So I think that'll be really cool. If anybody cares, mm-hmm. I think it's really rad. I like it. I'm into it. I'm doing it. Um, speaking of Mark. Yeah. <laughs> Mark. Um, is it okay to say that you guys might? Nope. No? Okay. No, nope, we're not nope. talking about that. We're not talking about that. No. Nope. Anyway, I texted Mark yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> Matt from Reasons um, Are Several. Matt from Reasons Are Several just went to Disneyland. Mm-hmm. And um, he was there for, I think, three days, he and his family. I think so. Two kids, two adults. Mm -hmm. And um, he posted a whole bunch of pictures on Instagram. (laughs) And I have to double check... But in most of them, maybe everyone, not not for sure, he's holding a beverage. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure that was the plan. And it's very like ladies, like with yeah. his like, you know. I'm sure that but, was the plan. Um, so I would love to have uh, Matt on the podcast sometime soon to sure. not only chat and catch up, but also break down the Disneyland scenario and what he thought of um, the Star Wars land and all of that. Well, he'll probably listen to this. So, mm-hmm. hey, Matt, let us know when you're available. Yeah. So, um, yeah. And yeah. And yeah. And yeah. I was just going to say like, yeah, I think we're going to have a couple of guests sometime soon. So, um, and hopefully, uh, and you know, everybody misses Matt. Mm Mm-hmm. He doesn't miss him too much because he pod whores it out a lot, but that's fine. You can listen to him somewhere. (laughs) All right. That's too funny. What else um, Um, did you want to talk about? That's really it besides us going out for uh, beers yesterday and um, chatting with some people and having... Uh, fun. That was pretty fun. Oh, I was gonna. Yes, we can talk. It was. It was fun. We had a good time. I just. Was, I wasn't sure we we're gonna do like names or anything. Which is no, why I just I, left I'm it not a fan of doing like that, that without peeps. You came home with a sweatshirt. Yes, <laughs> Tannery Ben sweatshirt. I was just curious how much they were, and Ashley went back and said, "Here you go." Right, and, then, and you're like, "Oh," and I was like, "I guess I'm oh, buying oh, it." Okay, I guess I'm buying it. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Just curious how much they were, but uh, right. I. It's a nice sweatshirt. Yeah. So. And you're gonna represent. That local keeping it real. <laughs> I was going to talk a little bit too about my implicit bias slash racism that I realized in oh. watching. No, it's not a bad thing. I mean, it's it's all good to learn. Mm-hmm. Um, in watching the German nailed it episode, oh. you know, we nailed it. For those that don't know, it's like a amateur people that don't know how to bake try to bake right. these we, crazy. We talked about yeah, it that it's we a watch great. It. It's yeah. a fun show, and right. they have like the U.S. version, Mexico, Germany. Which one? Nothing. Mexico. I was going to show you something. Mexico, Germany, um, Brazil. And we were watching the Germany one. And there was a, a woman whose, whose family was from, she was born, she's German. She was born in Germany. Her family immigrated from China. So she's Chinese German. Right. And what, so when I first, I obviously speaks German because she's German. Mm-hmm. Um, but my brain like fizzled out because she, I'm not used to seeing 
somebody who's Chinese right. not speaking Chinese or English. Right. So to hear her and she was speak, speaking, speaking perfect German. German right. Like, and again, it, it wasn't a negative and nothing negative in my head, but I realized like just the implicit bias, my own implicit bias, my own like accidental racism. It's like right. my brain couldn't, and there was, like I said, there was no negative feeling at all. I just couldn't, like my brain was like, right. what, what is happening right now? So it was, <laughs> it, it was a, a good lesson in, in reminding me that, you know, right. people are from everywhere people and go are everywhere of the world. and do, right. And you know, if you grow up in Germany, you speak perfect German. Yeah. And, and it, <laughs> right. you know, but it was just, it made me, it made me stop and go, oh my gosh, I'm, I'm you know, I need to work on right. not having a preconceived notion of what a, uh, a Chinese German. person <laughs> is supposed <laughs> to sound like right. no matter where they are, you know? Right, right, right. Um, but it was, uh, hey, Mike, but it was, it was uh, eye opening because I, I'll, you know, I know I, I, I'm not, I know I make mistakes and, right. and say the wrong thing. And, but it's, it's always interesting when you catch yourself and go, oh my God. Well, as we've discussed before, that, that right kind now. of like weird, weirdness, bias, and racism, and all of that is like kind of a learned skill. You don't, you're not a baby and know that stuff, you know? So like, it's all, you know, like your perception of what you've learned and assimilated and all of that. So like, um, um, I think I've told you this before, but, um, I've have a coworker who, um, is a uh, Brazilian, but went to school and did a lot of growing up in England. And so he has a, an extremely interesting accent mm -hmm. and it's very English, but he's Brazilian, you know? So it's very, um, right. You know, it's, so it's very, um, and his, uh, I, I would actually also say that his British accent is slightly proper British accent as well, because again, I think that he did a lot of st studying abroad. So, you know, <laughs> and so it's really funny because when people hear him talk, it's very British and everyone's like, oh, I didn't realize he was British. I'm like, he's actually Brazilian. And they're like, what? <laughs> so, right. <laughs> I'm like, so, you know, like there's a lot of assumptions being made. Oh, yeah. like you, well, hear, if you just, if you heard him just talked on the phone and does it like, like you wouldn't look at him and go, oh, he's Brazilian. People just assume that he's British. Sure. So. And, and I don't, and I don't think that's a mean assumption. If you hear somebody, right. you know, um, but it's just so interesting because like, we don't know, like, and you, and you can't tell, like, I only know because somebody told me. Right. And, and for me, it's one of those things that I didn't experience that. So it was just out of place for me. So it was like, oh, that exists too, which is awesome. But it's almost like when you see like your teacher out of school, like your brain mm -hmm. can't comprehend, like, why is my teacher at McDonald's right now with some kid? You know, you realize like, <laughs> oh, he has a family. It was that, right. it was He's that thing. Person. It's just, right. I had never experienced that. Right. So everything I knew about, what that should, which is exactly what implicit bias and racism is, is right. that you think you know everything about somebody because that's been your only experience, right? right. You, you had a, uh, a bad experience with a, a dog, so you think all dogs or all pit bulls or whatever are, right. are bad, you know? Right. So it was, fortunately for me, it wasn't a, a negative thing, but it was, I'm like, I caught myself going, oh my God, I should <laughs> not be freaking right. out right, right now, you know? But it was also fun. It was really neat to see too, because it, did open my eyes to this, that right. the world is much bigger than sometimes I uh, give it credit for being, you know? <laughs> Which is something you're trying to be very cognizant of. So yeah. it's kind of funny that you caught yourself in a little, yeah. like... It was, it was neat. I mean, yeah. well, I told you right away, too. I'm like, right. oh, my God, my brain is freaking out right, right. now. Right, you're like, you oh, know? my gosh, right. Um, I have a couple of um, side note, update, funny things about a couple of the TV shows that we watched that we sure. mentioned before. Um, we haven't mentioned it too much, but um, we watch a um, home and garden show, HGTV show called um, Ho Hometown with um, Ben, ben and, and Aaron. Aaron. And um, this week in Laurel, Mississippi, in Laurel, Mississippi, this week, um, Southern Living Magazine came out with an article and it's called something like um, the... The Incredible Comeback of Laurel, Mississippi. Mm -hmm. And it has a picture of them and I th and then um, the 
what, then a couple of the other people that they work with on the show. Um, like one of them is the architect or something like mm-hmm. that. And then um, I think the other one is um, her, her decorating partner or mm-hmm. something. And it's this really cool like article about how like in 2008, like they realized that their town was like in trouble and they actually made like a huge um, effort to like get their town to come back. And they um, have, um, with their um, show, they've done, and we haven't seen all this, but they've done 50 homes in just their small town or mm-hmm. whatever. So, you know, so like they're bringing so much. And or with I, their company. With their company, yeah. right. So they're bringing so yeah, they much. Do more sh- they do more work than you see on TV. Right, of I course. Mean, it is their exactly, job. Exactly, yeah. that's their, um, but it's just very um, interesting that they. Well, it got us to think about moving there. No, right. I mean, know? or any small town for that yeah. matter. But um, but it's just very interesting they that like I don't, really I don't nice know people. how they manage or who they talk to and um, got it on the air. But I guess like it used to be like a logging town and stuff like that. And obviously there's a lot less. Logging town, really? It says right there it was a logging, logging community and cultural hub. Cool. But it fell into disrepair. So, um, but anyway, so anyway, so it's just a show that we watch. I just thought you would be interested to know that like they actually are like helping to save this town and they just did like well a, I figured they were since that's what they say in the beginning of the show right yeah. they're trying, but you know what I mean like is it really working apparently it is oh you yeah know? no so it seems it seems yeah. like it is but well you see the people that are moving there because of the show right you know there was that mm-hmm. one guy who's mm-hmm. like saw the show thought I'd move here the, I, the, the one that we saw um, last week I thought was very interesting where they um, were buying uh, because it's Brian I mean, loves hometown. I aw, awesome that they that the homes are so inexpensive compared to other parts of the country. Not necessarily. I mean, obviously, it's within reason it's, for that area. Right. But um, someone was buying a vacation home there, and mm-hmm. I was like, "What?" Now? Well, they they were grew From, up there. They grew up there, so this is like right. a second home. So when they go visit, they have a place to stay. Right, and they were saying that they They'll go they go often enough that too. they like spend spend the money on hotels and things like that. Um, which is probably great for their business and the business of Laurel. But um, it's I just thought it was interesting that um, that's the way they're going to do it. And I, and obviously, since we're not there all the time, they could Airbnb it and things mm-hmm. like that. However, I just thought it was like, oh, that's fascinating. Like, you can actually afford to do that. And that's great for them that they can afford to do that. But that's really cool. And they have another house that got remodeled and it was in disrepair. And well, now, it, it's, it now is, it's really nice and cool and all of that. It is funny so. to sometimes watch that show and we look at each other and go, you know what they just did with that house? We could just put on a credit card. <laughs> right. Well, we could buy that house <laughs> yeah, on a credit card. We could, we could, <laughs> we could pull it's a crazy. little bit of money out of a retirement account right. and just go buy it cash, right. and, you know? Yeah. And well, there's, there's those, but what the but, heck would we do in Laurel? Right. And exactly. then there's also the we times when it's like, like work. I mean, e- you know, <laughs> they're either really, really hot and sweaty. Right. They're really, really cold. Right. Or it's pouring rain. Right. They all, they always seem to be hot and humid. And I'm like, yeah. I don't know, like, like, could you take that all the time? Yeah. And then I think, like, if we live there and they had a show like Hometown Napa, we'd be like, oh, my God, it'd be so cool to live in Napa. Look at the downtown. And we'd be so cool. <laughs> I think it's just sometimes like the, the grass is always greener. Well, I don't know, you know if it's greener, but I think as humans, we like to kind of explore. And right. it's like, oh, it'd be so much fun. But we, and again, we talk about, like, moving to a small town somewhere else because it's cheaper. And then we could retire earlier and things like that. But then we, what would we do all day? We don't know anybody. I yeah, mean, it's I, all, Because I, I see those things and I'm like, oh, they're so far away from our families the, there's the th- well they might be dead but the, also that. there's those like that cool little pub that they go to or that cool right. little big and i'm like oh just like the cool little brewery that we go to and the cool little bakery that we go right. to it's the same but it's it there is that little bit that it's like oh I, I want to you know go right yeah um so in the other um uh tv show i was gonna make a, a joke about that i think i told you already off off pod but um we watched a tv show called ugly delicious with chef david What's Choi. his last name? Choi? No. No, because that's Roy David Choi and David Chang. Chang. Um, and um, he does. He did the Ugly Delicious, and he was also did the uh, Breakfast, Lunch, Dinner, which isn't, we don't like that one as much as Ugly Delicious. I think Ugly Delicious is fascinating. I understand why people don't like Breakfast, Lunch, and Dinner. Like when right. we were talking with our friend yesterday. Like I right. understand why she doesn't like it. Right. I do like it. Right, I do know. too. But I mean, I, I do. So this one, they take one thing and like break it down. Hey, like um, they the just did the, hi, David. Uh, they do like the fried rice. All right, Margo, thank you. Have a good night. Um, they they did fri- they tacos and like the history of tacos and like different chefs talking about what makes a taco a taco and you know like it is fascinating it's mm-hmm. re- it's really cool and it's fascinating but one of the things that you had mentioned before that you kind of found David 
to be a little, um, what would you call it? Uh, Not pompous. No, he, but a little bit. He's a little a sanctimonious. Little pompous, sanctimonious. Little, yeah. That's the word. Yeah. Where he's just like, well, that's not. He's real. a little holier than that. Yeah. That's, you know, and he's also very, um, he grew up with a lot of racism. And so he's very sensitive to that and mm-hmm. almost, and he actually says like in the Fried Road episode, like he, it almost makes him angry that other people like appropriate the Asian food and culture and stuff like that. And now making it like cheaper and different. And he's like, that's not Korean food. And right. you know, so anyway, but, um, the really funny thing is, um, he's, you can see him come around and you can see him, um, opening up and well, all I of think that. His experience in China right. was like, Oh Yeah. So, um, but I, I pointed out to you that, um, ugly delicious is getting a season two and the, the, at the headline of like the season two, like promo thing is just said, uh, <laughs> a more, hum- a, a humbler David returns for season two of ugly delicious. And it's like him eating like a taco or something yeah. like that. And I was like, brilliant. Exactly. Yeah. Well, he, you can see his transformation. Right. You, and that's, that's what I'm saying. I mean, like it is. It's amazing to watch him go from being a little bit pompous and sanctimonious and being super sensitive about the, you know, cultural. And un- understandable. Understandably so, especially but, if you understand where he's coming from. You totally get it. But, like, to see his transformation, be like, I kind of get what's, okay, I get it. Yeah. Like, you guys have, like, made me see what's going on. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, and so, it's like, like that. You're, we're watching him transform, becoming, like, a more open person. You right. Know? It's not so, a full appropriation. It's like right. these people, these chefs really like the Korean style food and they want to mix it in with what they, cause they like it. Right. They're not trying to steal anything, right. no, yeah. you know, but I think it's taken him a little bit. Although I right. do have an issue. Like when they did the, the fried chicken one down South there, sometimes when it's like, Oh, you're just stealing the meals. But at the same time, that's what they like to make, you right. know? So, well, and then he, he brought up, he's like, do you think they're doing that? You know, sorry in advance for my, you know, D- depiction of this um, conversation, D- but there was like this conversation, very honest conversation. But like, does it bother you that these two white guys have basically taken over and become more popular making fried chicken than you? And she's like, no, because they wanted to make a place that they felt comfortable going to. Right, and like she said, that's where white people feel comfortable. That is the issue: is that right. the white people should feel, and there's no reason that they shouldn't. They should want to go right. and experience a fried chicken. But at but, these other locations. but the conversation but I think that he makes happen is important. Oh, absolutely. So th- I think that's really cool. And they talk to the white guys, the chefs, and the um, wonderful, beautiful lady who owns that like really famous. Uh, and I don't remember her I name. The so name of it. Um, I forget the name of the restaurant too. But, they, but it's and then they talk to her about spicy it. Spicy chicken, right? In, in, I want to say Louisiana, but I don't think it is. Right. Mississi- is it Mississippi? It's, I think it's Mississippi. So I don't well, know. Um, but, but yeah, but, Alabama, they're, but they're famous. They made the spicy chicken famous or whatever. One anyway, of the, yeah. So, but fascinating if you guys have the time mm-hmm. and you care about the food and shows. Fascinating. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. And it was really interesting to like see a, um, a, a <clears throat> chef, uh, a black chef from the South saying, I won't make fried chicken. Right. Like, I just won't. He's I like, because do I, I, I don't, I don't want to be what, automatically. Yeah. That's not what, right. you know. Right. And, but, and it is funny because they are very honest conversations. He's yeah. Like, Do I like it? Oh, I love it. You know? Right. And then he ends up making it. Right. He's you know? like, well, this uh, is the version he, well, of the Well, he right. starts a Southern kitchen right. because for his af- dad. Right. Because yeah. after a while, after a few yeah. years of being a chef and not making any Southern food, he was right. like, well, okay, let's get back to the roots. Brian but, said Tennessee has hot chicken. It might have been Tennessee. It was some, Tennessee. I don't know. Freaking A. But, um, I don't pay attention to these shows. I just like but, to watch it, them. But it's fascinating. And um, also, pro tip, don't pro watch tip. it while you're hungry. No. Make sure we usually watch it while we're eating dinner because it will make you hungry. <laughs> All right. Let's do our questions and get out of here. Okay. <laughs> All right. Are you ready? This is our five questions Five segment. questions. Play along if you want to. Yeah. <laughs> I was just reading David's. Cheers, David. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. Here we go. Question. For $100,000, mm-hmm. would you put on 40 pounds and keep it on for three years? No. How much money, oh. if any, would induce you to put on 100 pounds for at least one year? Oh, I do 100 pounds for a year for $10 million. It'd have to, well, it would have to be a lot of money because there are so many um, medical issues and mm-hmm. challenges that you would acquire and well, have to deal with it. Also, it also doesn't say how you have to put the weight on or what you have to do. Right. So, I could put on 
easily 25 to 35 pounds of muscle mm-hmm. and then the rest in fat and be right. as healthy as, you know, like if you just had to maintain, so m- maybe you do put a, you know, obviously 100 pounds on, but you stay active and you right. keep your heart somewhat in good health. And then the big thing would be after that year to lose it correctly. Right. Um, I, so yeah. I think that's how, it wouldn't be like, oh, I'm I don't just know gonna, that I would because I don't know. It's very hard for me to lose weight, and I would struggle losing it after the fact. So, yeah, like, but you figure, let's I'd say, also struggle putting that much on in a timely manner, and then, and again, I think that that would also come with a lot of medical issues. So, let, let's say you have they give you ten million dollars, you could hire a personal trainer and a chef when you were done for a year, <laughs> right? I mean, you could pay them each five hundred thousand dollars, right? You still have to send them, and they and they bring you to your weight again, right? Properly, you know. I I, so. I think the thing for me would be also during that time to still eat somewhat healthy, just right. eat a lot versus like, oh, I'm just going to have donuts all the time, right. you know. So it's just, right. It's more of a caloric thing than a right. fat thing. What was that show where the guy did fast food like every day for a year? Super Size Me, right? And he got so unhealthy and oh all yeah. That. yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. That's a good question. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. So next question. Mm-hmm. Um, would you like to be famous? If so, for what? What if you knew it meant that within a few years you'd lose all of your current friends and never develop new relationships that were meaningful? I, I would and I wouldn't. I mean, I do think there's a part of me. I mean, obviously with playing music and doing the podcast and doing the vlog, I, there's a certainly a part of me that likes to be seen and recognized and noticed for those things. Right. I think being famous could be fun, especially if it comes with money and a, and a lifestyle that you enjoy. But I also think you, it's, it's a totally fake world. Once right. You're you famous. lose yourself. It's, and like, can you imagine not being able to like do your own grocery shopping? Not, and, and I'm sure some people are like, Oh, I hate grocery shopping. I don't want to do that anyway. I'm like, yeah, but the fact that you couldn't, right. there's a difference between like, Oh, I don't want to grocery shop today as opposed to, I can't go out in public without getting mobbed or, or harassed or, or yeah. followed or, stalker or like, like you're legit in somewhat danger. If you go out by yourself, like going, you cannot just go out. You have to arrange to go out. Yeah. I don't, I don't think I'd be opposed to it. If somebody said, Oh, you know, we're going to buy the rights to your podcast and make a show at it. And we want you to star in it. And we're going to guarantee that you get five seasons and a billion dollars. I'd be like, yeah, okay, I'm in. (laughs) Let's do it. You know? Right. So, but I mean, I've done a lot of grocery shopping. You're all stuck up on the groceries. (laughs) I'm just going to order that shit in. It's going to be fun. That's it. Grub hub for the rest of my life. <laughs> well, I don't know. I was going to say, like, I, obviously you'd have to keep the, cause it said you're not going to make any new friends or anything. So you'd have, have to try to keep tight with the friends you have. I suppose. Yeah, that would be all right. <clears throat> okay. I'll be Next. rich. I don't need friends. <laughs> this one's a little complicated, so I'm going to try to read it okay. know, properly. Okay. Next question. Okay. If women were just fundamentally smarter and harder working than men, would you support putting rules in place to ensure that men would share equality in the best jobs and fill half the slots at the best schools? If so, how would you explain the fairness of this to smart, dedicated women who get displaced by less qualified men? Well, that's kind of the reverse. Of, it's exactly the reverse yeah. of sexism. Or or um, what, what is the other one? Um, Oh, I forget. But like when they say, you know, you have to have a certain amount of minorities that go to your right. college. Oh, that, I know like there's that. I know the, there's a phrase for that. Um, I'm trying to remember what that uh, is. I, it, it all depends on. Like you have to have at least like half minorities in a certain field. Um, like if people started treating women the way they should be treated all of a sudden now, I, I'd say like, no, there's, there, there needs to be a lot of years to make up to make up for, for right. what happened. Now, if it was just. If we're just changing names, like saying man instead of woman, then then yeah, then I'd say we need to have, we need to be able to also, as we have to do, unfortunately now for women, we'd have to be able to have, find these qualified men so they have a shot too, right. or whoever it is. Well, I mean, in, in a perfect world, people would get um, jobs and schools and college and all of that based on their effort and intelligence, but that's not necessarily the case. It's, it's so, a lot of people. So it's not a perfect world. So we can't do that. So we have to make um, other plans. The, a lot of people, I not a lot. There are some people that don't realize too that it's not just everybody's on an equal playing field. So, you know, the person with the best score gets right. in. Women and minorities 
have been constantly not given the resources and the opportunities. Yeah. No, 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 no. Not forget the opportunities. Just not even given the resources to be able to get to a level playing field. Mm -hmm. So if somebody says like, well, why do we, you know, well, if, if minorities were so good and so smart, they just get in. Well, they don't have the schools growing up that are equal to the schools in white neighbor. You know what I mean? There's, they're already, they meaning minorities and women are already behind that. It's not just, no, it's not, it's not fair to begin with. (laughs) If we eliminate all that and everybody has the same exact, uh, they get the same schooling. They have the same socioeconomic uh, abilities and all that. And then we get to a place where it's like, well, hey, you all had the same shit growing up. You didn't have to worry about getting shot walking home from school. You didn't right. have to worry about your nutrition. You didn't have to worry about going hungry. You didn't have to worry about doctor's bills. Everyone was on the same. And you were lazy. And it's not because you're black, white, man, or woman. You were just lazy. And right. this person wasn't. And right. they did it. So they're getting the job. Right. And it wouldn't matter if they were black, white. Yeah. Purple, Again, whatever. perfect world, which is not. But, so. but yeah, I think if there is one group of people that because they've been given all the breaks and have had it so much easier that they get all the best stuff, mm-hmm. then there is that time where you got to go, yeah, no, sorry. Yeah. You know. You're going to have to share a little bit. That's it. <laughs> okay. So was that the question three? So this is I think question that was four. Four. Um, I don't know. You, this, you're supposed to keep this. Is, is it, uh, I my, am I keeping track? Yeah, of course. Uh, so one. Two, three. Yeah, those three. So So this is four. All right. Okay. So if, without being detected, you Mm -hmm. could spy electronically for the next month and watch anyone, anywhere, anytime, like a fly on the wall, would you? If so, who would you watch and how closely? And if not, why? I do that, and it's our dogs. (laughs) (laughs) We have cameras set up everywhere so we can watch our dogs. So yes. As far as a human, no. No, I would Not without them knowing. It's creepy. I mean, it's weird. Like, I don't know why I want to, like, I don't, if you, I mean, it's, it's, it's none of your business. If they knew, if like, let's say like, um, well, it doesn't say that. It doesn't say that they know, but I'm I'm saying without being detected so that they must not know. I'm saying if they knew, like, let's say I really wanted to know what John Bon Jovi Mm -hmm. does every day. And he's like, oh yeah, I'll give you the passcodes to my cameras and you can check it out. That would be cool. I I wouldn't want to do it. Unless it was like surveillance. Well, then people know, but if it was like surveillance at an airport or, Mm -hmm. you know, but no, I wouldn't want to just watch somebody yeah, without it's, them knowing. And well, yeah, and it's them. also yeah, it's just it's too. I mean, like, I mean, I get people are a little voyeuristic, but that is just too over the top. That's just like, yeah. it's and it's such an That's invasion of privacy. Yeah. And we already don't have a lot of privacy. So, like, in just in the world, so you know, let someone go to the bathroom by themselves, man. Right. There's a part two to that. Okay. It says, "What if they might someday find out you'd been watching? Do you think you could ever be at ease under constant surveillance?" I don't think so. Um, I mean, again, we have cameras in our house and stuff, but we, do, we don't have them like in the bathrooms or whether well, actually we don't have one in the think, kitchen. Um, but I mean, I, I, I need I to be, have private yeah, time at I, least a little bit. I I'm mean, at ease. I'd be at ease. Well, remember when they said like they were turning on Xbox one cameras right, to see. And right. so I said, well, then I'm playing video games naked. Right. So I'm fine with, with all of that. Right. I don't, I, if I don't somebody care if you has, watch me read or watch TV, but I just, I just need, to if be like some, in the bathroom and shower by myself. Yeah, that that, that <laughs> wouldn't even. I mean, if if my if what I do is so important to you that you need to, that's your enjoyment. Then I'm like, man, enjoy. Yeah. You watch me poop. That's fine. Oh Jesus, criminy. <laughs> David put ten David. bucks towards a hundred pound donation. <laughs> that's a, well, I'm not doing you, that, David. I'm not doing. That. <laughs> I just told you. <laughs> I'm, I'll do it for ten bucks. <laughs> no. Damn All right. it. Thank you, sir. Thank you, David. Cheers. <laughs> All right, one more. Okay, one more, and then we'll get out of here. Have a kiss. If your mother Thank and father you. told you that they never really loved or even liked you, whoa, yeah. it's getting dark. I get that. I get that. Um, I got it Friday. <laughs> and you knew it was absolutely true. How would you? How would it affect your life? Would you? What if it simply overheard them saying this to someone else? Um, I. I mean, I think if. My, if I was told by my parents at this age, <laughs> I mean, they, you know, I think it would be like, oh, that sucks, but I'm too old for it to really, you know, I, I think I would like to know why and see if there's something I could do to make them change their mind. Like if it's like, if they're like, you're just a jerk and I'm like, oh, well, if I was less jerky, would you like me? And they're like, right. yeah. But um, it says never really, which means it's not I was like, it's, a jerk. Well, maybe right. they didn't want a kid. Were you were a jerk at five, at five years old? Well, I there mean, was, I was listening, was I listening to a podcast or something? But somebody, 
somebody adopt, adopted a kid and then the, the parents that adopted the kid had their own kid and told the adopted kid, I wouldn't have adopted you if I knew I could have my own kid. Well. Yeah. How do you like that? Well, that's shitty. Yeah. Like, yeah. why even say that? Right. So it would you're suck. you're a shitty person. Yeah. It would, it would <laughs> suck, especially if you loved your parents and thought that they loved you. Right. Now, no. if you had a tough relationship with them and they were just like, yeah, I don't like you. And you're like, I don't like you much either. Right. That's fine. See, I, yeah. I mean, I think that. Like, if, if my biological dad told me he didn't like me much, I'd be like, okay. Right. That's great. So, <laughs> yeah. But again, I think this um, this is something inter- interesting about you and me. I think that I um, I think you would want to not only understand why, but you would try to fix the relationship or something if like there that. Was, if they just said no. I, I mean, there are people that right. we just don't like. Right. But if they said, yeah. Like if they were telling you because they're like, I want to like you, but I don't. Yeah. I, but it also kind of says that and, and maybe you overheard it or something, but you knew it to be true. Um <laughs> I'm more like, so good. like Christmas, you know, that family's hanging out. You look over and your mom's like, I hate that kid. <laughs> Jesus. Why does he keep coming here? Yeah. Um, I, I guess what I'm trying to say is like, I feel like you would try to figure it out and like work with the situation, maybe try to fix the relationship. I'm like, okay, I'm out. <laughs> you know, like I, I'm more, I could cut it off more Yeah. for better or worse. Like that's, I don't know that that's the right way, but I'm just saying that's just something just how you roll, man. Yeah, that's just. I'd be like, okay, I'm out. <laughs> Good. Yeah. That's two more, two less Christmas that's gifts it. I have to buy every that's year, it. man. <laughs> was that four or five? That was five. Oh, that was five. Mm-hmm. Oh, what Wasn't was it? four? I thought that was four. No, I think the the uh, surveillance one was. Four. Oh, that was four. Okay. Yeah. Should probably num- number them. <laughs> So we know. Well, the, so they're numbered, but it's like now we're like on number eighteen. No, no, whatever. no. But I'm saying like put a little. Oh, hat. you want me to? So yeah. like the you know you can put like one for the first question that week, so we know. Oh, okay. what, Where we're at. Right. Well, what's kind of funny is like people like uh, Matt will um, tweet the answers, and he'll go one, one through two, five three, or whatever, yeah. and he just gives the answer, and sometimes they're like a one word answer, mm-hmm. and I'm like, I don't. Like there's, I've had to go back and listen to the oh, the questions I, part to like remember what the question was. As soon as he gives the, the answers, I know what the questions are. Oh, there was a couple that I didn't. Yeah. So purple. I'm anyway. Like oh, I know what that is. <laughs> All right. Well, let's uh, let's wrap this show up. Sweet. <laughs> Thank you everybody for listening. We very much appreciate it. Um, if you want some free merch, let us know. If you want to pay for some merch, go to our <laughs> T Public T Public slash stores slash D A P F so cool. Pod. Or I think you can just search on Google T Public DAPF Pod and it'll pop up somewhere. And then if you want to do the gin thing with us, let us know yeah. because we're having fun with that let's, and we let's think play it's with cool. Some gin together, you guys. And then we'll be back next week. Next week will be the big live six year show. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, so mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. bring your fun. Three p.m. Bring your fun. Pacific if you want to send anything time. in before any that, questions or um, anything, questions yeah. or recordings or whatever. Um, do we still have our Gmail? How would they? What's Dark the best way? Dark at gmail.com. Right. And always you can DM us Halos and heathens at gmail.com. I think so. we have dapfpod at gmail.com. Right. I think we have HH vlog. We are very easily get a hold of. Yeah. So don't and we'll have the website up hopefully this week. <laughs> <Can't> <laughs> <talk>. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thanks so much. Uh, we'll see you later. <laughs> and good night.